Hi guys, Vlogmas Day. I don't even know what day it is. I'm running so late right now to get my hair cut. I'm gonna run in, I'm gonna record it for you, and then after, if I don't already say it in the clips that you're about to see, what I get done, then I will go ahead and chat with you in the car. When I'm done, I just need to go in because I'm just always like, why am I like this? I don't know, but I gotta go. So I'll see you inside and hopefully this is helpful for you. And yeah, okay, bye. Hi guys, so the day pretty much got away from me, uh, but I'm so excited to talk, to talk about hair care and all about hair, the extensions, what I ask for when I get my hair cut, what I used to ask for when my hair was much shorter, um, and kind of the process that I have with my hair and how I treat it, how I take care of it, um, and all that goodness. So if you could see right now, I have very sh uh, long hair. Oh my God, I was about to say very short. No, the opposite. I have very long hair. These are clip-in extensions from Lexi Hair. I'll get into that in a second um, but basically what I usually ask for for haircuts right now what I'm currently asking for since I'm growing out my hair um, is to keep the longest piece in the back the longest and then just have my hairstylist move her way up with layers from that piece because I want to keep my hair long and keep it growing I really don't want to get rid of the length but I want everything around it to just look alive look fluffy, look flirty, look fun, um, and healthy. So I love layers. So today we did kind of um, texturizing layers. She said that they're there, and but they're not like super choppy. So she, she put them in, but like in a way where they kind of just like flow into one another. It's not like, oh, there's a layer, oh, there's a layer, oh, there's a layer. But like if you curl your hair or if you put texturizing spray, you could kind of see that the different ends at different lengths. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. For the front pieces, I love my bangs grow out so fast, so I'm always asking her to cut those pretty short. And if you've been with me on Instagram, you know that I'll literally just pick up a pair of scissors and start cutting my bangs because um, they get so long. And I don't cut them into exact bangs, but I just cut them. I just like hold them in front of me and I cut them a bit shorter because I really like when it's in a ponytail or a messy bun and I have some pieces falling in front of my face. So that's what I usually ask. If I'm there, why not get them? Um, so you can see these pieces are a bit shorter. And yeah, it's a face frame as well because I really like face frames. Um, I feel like I'm totally stuck in the 90s. That's about it. Right now, I'll take out the extensions in a second, but I'll talk about them before I do that. So that's about it. When I used to get my hair cut because I wanted it short, I would ask for a blunt cut and then she would do really long layers on top of that. Almost like no layers, but I still, I can't just not get layers. So I would ask for really, really long layers. Um, and then some pieces in the front a bit sh a bit yeah shorter than the length but not super short like they are now so everything was kind of one length and I really liked that I really 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 enjoyed my time with short hair um, but now three years later I'm kind of really excited about long hair and I'm really excited about these extensions because 
I feel like it just gives me an alter ego, another person, you know, another personality. It's a fun thing to have to just like feel like, yes, but it's also so nice to take them out and be able to just like breathe, you know, and not feel like you're stuck with one hairstyle. So this is so new to me. Really excited about it. Um, a little backstory on the extensions. These are from Luxie Hair and they look like this. I love them. So I got these actually a year ago around Coachella, which was March or April. And I thought it would be really fun around Coachella. And then I got them and I honestly didn't know how to put them in my hair. And then when I tried putting them in my hair, they, it just looked it just didn't look right. It didn't feel right. It didn't look right. I'm like, okay, I look like a, like a goon. I don't know. I just do not look cute at all. Um, so I didn't end up putting them in. And then I don't know why I, when I made this appointment for my hair today, I thought, wait, why don't I bring the hair extensions and ask to get them cut? And Lexi hair told me that you're able to cut them and, you know, dye them even if you want, wash them, whatever. So I'm like, you know what, let me just go ahead and bring them and let me see if my hairstylist, Laura, she's amazing, um, is willing to help me on this. So I brought them in and as you could see in the clip, she was so sweet. She told me how to put them in, which I'll go over in a second. Um, but yeah, and then she cut them. So actually the length of the the length of the extensions came down to here if you could see in the videos previously they literally came down to here and i was like no way this is not this is not the length that i want them so like they didn't look cuter now than they did a year ago so i'm like no 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 i was like can we cut them so she cut them and honestly it's a really long length for me but i'm really loving it and like i said it's really exciting to be able to take them out and still feel me if you know if these ever don't feel like me so really happy about that and i guess we could talk about how she put them in so we used oh, hold on let me get my phone because i have it here okay at the bottom so she oh i'm wearing the dark brown i'll say that I'll, i'm wearing the dark brown and i curled the top of my head <laughs> the hair I curled the top of my hair to be able to kind of flow better because when I first got it done I, I she was like oh do you want me to curl and I was like no 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 it's okay I could do that at home like no worries at all so I went home so when I first got it the top was pretty straight and I was like oh yeah this looks amazing but like I feel like it looks even better now that everything is kind of curled and Laura told me you can curl them individually but she's like go ahead and curl them when they're on your head because when you're a barrel takes your hair it also takes the extension and so your curl gets wrapped within the extension and it just kind of flows better and looks better um, another tip that my friend Rachel gave me was that uh, the little pieces of your own hair that can kind of like at the bottom kind of stick out she was like just go ahead and pin them behind um, or do like a tiny little bun below which I don't I'm gonna need help doing that but um, maybe just pin them further back so that they don't stick out just like that yeah but it's okay. Just like, you know, twist them and push them in. I don't know. Anyways, it's fun. We can figure it out. Okay. Um, so on the bottom, so she went ahead and she put her comb right like on the bottom. Yeah. The first line is right here. So basically in the middle of your ear, okay, you're going to go ahead and separate your hair and you're going to put threes. So she put one three at the bottom. Yeah. And then at the top of my ear, she went ahead and she did another line and she put another three. And these are clip-ins, so they have three. Here, I'll show you. They look like this. Oh. Okay, so when I say three, it's, uh, it's a, a line with three of these clip-ins. So what you do is you open it and when she divided my hair, she clipped up the top and then she um, took my actual hair and she just teased it. And then she stuck this in to the tease and then flipped it towards my head. And let me tell you, when I did it back almost a year ago, I did not feel the security that I feel right now. I'm like, yeah, you could like literally tug my hair and they're not going anywhere. When I did it to myself a year ago, I was like, uh, I'm sorry, how do people actually keep these in your head? They're keepable. I don't even know, even know if that's a word, but they're keepable. Um, they're keepable. Oh my God. On top of that, she overlapped two fours. So there's a line with four clip-ins. So on top of that, which is like kind of right below my temple. Yeah, right here. 
she went ahead and she put two fours and she overlapped it and when she overlapped it she um so she put in a four and then because the the other four in my head is too small that it wouldn't fit like that so she had to overlap it like that so she actually parted a new division of a line and used that but it was like literally right on top of the one that she had just placed i hope that makes sense on top of that towards here she put two singles and then a two does that make sense yes two singles that i feel right here and then two twos sorry two twos so two singles right here and then two twos right behind me i hope that makes sense i hope that um clears things up or helps you in any way shape or form um if you have any questions about it please go ahead and leave them down below i really really love them so you can wash them you can curl them you can straighten them you can dye them um i'm not sure how long the life of the extensions are this is so new to me i have to do my own research and i probably should have done it before making this video but um we can all learn together so i will let you know how these hold up and how often i put them in and how easy they are to put them in my because I didn't put these in she put them in and I was like wait can I keep these in for a couple days she's like I, you should probably take them out before you sleep because it can get like kind of ratty and I don't know just like messy and you just want to maintain the health of the uh, extension so we didn't even use all of them so that's good to know um, but I think also Luxie hair Luxie hair has a bunch of different like colors tones and even like balayage or highlighted ones I don't know they look awesome so really excited about this I feel like a brand new woman and like I said I'm really excited to have them but also really Really excited that I can take them out for hair care um, my shampoo I've mentioned it in like vlogmas day one or two but I literally use Trader Joe's it's three-in-one all-in-one it's shampoo conditioner and body wash and this stuff is amazing I really don't need conditioner after I use this but um, I do use a Briogeo banana I got this gifted and it's great so I use those two and then my body wash I also use this one um, and I really like it. And I've actually had other friends message me on Instagram and tell me, oh my God, wait, I use that too. And it is so good. It really is. Um, so if you're looking for something that's kind of just easy and not crazy money, go ahead and look into this because it really, um, it does the job for me. I really don't touch my hair. I've never dyed my roots. So another compliment, thank you so much, that I get is how does your hair look so healthy? And honestly, the truth is, is that I really have never touched my hair. I've gotten um, ombre and I've gotten balayage, but I've never touched the roots when I've gotten those, um, those treatments done. So I don't know. I think it's just, I mean, yeah, curling iron and yeah, straining iron here and there, but I used to strain my hair a lot back in high school. So I'm sure that hair has grown out completely now and curling. Yes, I curl it, but I don't really curl it every single day. And if I do, it's really not staying on the curling iron for a really long extended period of time. Um, and other than that, yeah, I just haven't dyed my hair. So I haven't really put many chemicals on it. I don't really mess around with it too much. Um, so my biggest advice is to just give your hair a rest, give it a break, let it breathe, um, let it do its own thing, you know? And I think training your hair is also huge because I started after I get out of the shower. So I used to have straight hair and then now I have like curly wavy hair. And I honestly think it's because I have been training my hair for years that um, when I get out of the shower, I'll just dry it with a towel and then I'll wrap it in a low bun and I'll wrap my hair around. And then when I take it out or a high bun, whichever one you want. And then when I take it out in the morning, it's kind of damp and then it dries and it kind of just sits like that. Um, and I think it's gone to the point where it just naturally falls like that, even if I don't do the wrapping and the bun. Um, so I don't know. I think training your hair is totally possible. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out, uh, and see kind of what my actual hair looks like. I guess we could start with this side. Not gonna lie, it feels really good because my head started getting a bit of a headache. They're really in there, so 
It was really getting kind of headachey. This is so easy though. See with the snaps, looks like I have a beard. <laughs> This is the four and so you hook them on your hair and then you just snap them into your head like that Sure my hair is compared to that now. Oh my goodness. Oh, but I feel like I can breathe Wow Oh my god, you guys. Ooh, it's okay. Wow, well, here we have my natural short hair. Wait, I really like the long extensions. Ah, you know when you take out a ponytail and it just like is the best feeling ever to scratch and massage your head because it's just been in like tense pain? That's how I feel right now and I'm probably making myself look crazy. Um, okay, these curls are probably not how I would curl it if I had just my actual hair, um, but because I, it, I was curling it with the extensions, they look just like a little different because, yeah, um, I kind of made them more like loose and rounded. But, so that is it. Guys, I hope that this was helpful. Please go ahead and let me know any questions, comments, advice, recommendations, feedback, criticism, critique, make it nice though. Um, literally let me know whatever is on your mind. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful and I can't wait to see you next time. Please go ahead, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you know next time I post and again, leave a comment and that's it. Bye guys. I'll see you next time.